Hello everybody, my name is Kitam. Welcome back for the video of NHL 21, uh, 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we finished off the season, the, our third season, and ended up going straight into the playoffs. We not only clinched the playoffs, but we finished off as the third best team of the league. And uh, we got past the two first rounds. Quite convincingly, it was, it was a little bit difficult against the Rangers at the f in the first round, but we managed to beat them uh, to sweep them. And then we swept pretty convincingly as well the, uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning in the second round. They were actually pretty easy to defeat. Now we got to face against the Columbus Blue Jackets though. So completely different type of team. I don't know how good they're going to be. I... They made it this far for a reason. Uh, we it is obviously uh, the the way the series uh, the playoff works. It's a best of three, so we'll see how it goes against them. We'll see really quick who we are up we are up against. Obviously, we got Patrick Liney. We've got Ken Johnson, of course, the fir very first overall draft pick. It says here he hasn't been drafted at all. Maybe he's got created by the uh, the crew, the 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 guy that made the the, the roster for me, I guess. They also have Voracek, so they have a really good first line. Fo Fosberg, Sillinger, and uh, Sillinger being a big prospect. And same thing for Ch uh, Shinakov, another big time prospect. Okay. Uh, they got Texier, uh, Jenner, Bjorkstrand, Domi, Roslovic, and uh, Alloway. So they've got some good team, a good team uh, in the front. Wierenski and Bockfist. So they do have Adam Bockfist in there. Interesting. Uh, Beam, Jake Beam and uh, Matt Roy, the Kaiser and Friedman. So their defense is kind of weak. They do have a really strong offense, uh, depth uh, offensive line. They don't have any goaltending though. They've only have Old B at 81 overall though. So they don't have any goaltending and any defense. We should be able to, uh, as we're going to enter the first game, we should be able to score at will against them. Uh, Johnson is going to score the first goal for the game. And Patrick Line is going to score the second goal as well. Okay. This is going to be a problem. They do have a really good first line. And they got an in-depth forward line. Uh, yeah, okay. The Kaiser is going to score as well. Interesting. Third, uh, third pair of defensemen, boys. Voracek. Okay, this is a complete blowout. So we're entering this first game in a complete blowout fashion. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Continue to score. Yeah, that is great. Okay, so definitely the Blue, Blue Jackets, or the, uh, I think they might be the team who beat us, boys. Uh, this is going to be tough. I don't know how we're going to bounce back up from that. 5 nothing in two periods. This is a complete blowout here. Yeah, we uh, completely got screwed over right here. Yeah, Roslovich as well. Lukanen is now in the net. Shinakov is scoring. 7 nothing, boys. Power play for us? Nothing at all. I mean, we completely lost all the momentum we had. We The, the minimum amount of momentum we had uh, left, we completely lost it pretty much. So, All right. That was uh, something else for the first game. 7 nothing loss. Okay, then. Forget about the fact that I said they ha didn't have any defense or goaltending. It doesn't matter, apparently, if they can just score at will on us. The fuck was that? I don't know what just happened right there. Campbell, are you okay, buddy? What was that performance right there, giving up seven goals like that? All right, you guys, come on. You guys should be able to play together properly. We've, w we've made it this far with this team. Don't see why we should be struggling right now. There's no reason. Right? No reason as to why we should be struggling. Yeah, the rest, I don't want to touch anything. I feel like my team is fine as it is. If we can't win against this, uh, the other team, it is what it is. I've got a much stronger defense and much uh, like a better goaltending overall. Not that much better, but still better goaltending. So, uh, power play goal for Pasternak. There we go. That was a, a two, uh, 5v3 as well. There we go. Darlene scoring a goal for us. I'm tempted to say I don't want to talk too uh, too soon. I was I'm Ted. I would be tempted to say that the first game was kind of a fluke, because we are a really good team, boys. We've got that team. Uh, sh Short-handed goal for the Columbus Blue Jackets somehow by uh, Boone uh, Boone Jenner, boys, or Booze Jenner, whatever which one it is. 
Look, uh, power play for us. Can we score on a power play? That's a really long one. That was a, a fourth minute power play right there. We couldn't score. Uh, we used to be able to score at will. Oh, Johnson scoring a goal for them. Power play goal for Mekinen. There we go. We are still very good in the power play. So as long as we get a lot of those, we should be okay. If there are a strong team on the other side. It's just if Campbell plays good enough, we'll be fine. There we go. Mekinen getting another goal for us. We just get got to get that advantage, you know. We just got to get uh, uh, the luck on our side and... Just like that, Mekinen's going to help us out. Move in into your third game right here. So we're fine. We're still in this series, boys. We're still in this series. Six goals and six games plays. Mekinen is on fire. Completely on fire. We're going to hop on in directly to the, uh, the last game. It's all or nothing right here. Whoever wins this moves on to the finals, boys. And shorthanded goal for us right off the bat by Pavelski. This is why I need those veterans. This is why I went and I got them, boys. Got them for a reason. Fosberg's going to score for them, though. Tie it up. Pretty even game so far. Let's see if we can uh, make sure that um, we outpace him a little bit more right here. Power play for us. Can we score? We cannot. We're not as good as uh, we were in the power play versus the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Still decent, but we should be able to score a little bit more here. Bjorkstrand scores a goal, but Skinner is going to answer back. There we go. I mean, Holtby is nothing to be crazy about. He's an 81 overall goaltender. He's a backup goaltender. So we should be able to get past him e uh, a, little bit, a lot easier than they uh, should against our goaltender, which he's a starter. He's not an elite, but he's a starter at least. So you, oh my god, shorthanded, uh, not even power play. Right off the bat afterwards, I thought it was a short end goal. I guess it was right before the penalty or something. All right, well, it looks like this is going to be it, boys. Yep. Yeah. Just like that, the uh, the Bjorkstrand goal ended up giving them the win. Fuck. That was annoying. That was a kind of a stupid one, I guess. I, I don't get it, though. I don't get, like, they don't have any defense. They don't have any goaltending. They had a really strong defense, uh, in-depth forward line. But I have the same type of lineup. Mine is very similar to theirs, and if not better. And I have better defense and better goaltending. So I don't know what went wrong here. I just don't know. It's not Campbell's fault. Uh, for, yeah, the first game he completely blew it off, seven goals, but that's going to happen. I don't know, I guess they outpaced us a little bit, but we made it this far. I'm happy about the fact we made it to the third uh, the third round at least. I would have liked to make it to the finals, that would have been good. It looks like the finals is going to be the uh, Colorado Avalanche versus the... Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. So the Blue Jackets, I hope they're going to win the cup now because if they lose... Oh, well, they lost. They got swept. Well, that's great. That's just great. So the Colorado Avalanche, Mekinen's last team, boys, former team, ends up winning the cup without him. Oh, that's great. Well, I guess they were right to get rid of him so somehow. All right, then. So congrats to the Colorado Avalanche for winning the cup. For us, we're just going to move on to the offseason now and uh, go directly to the draft lottery, I guess. I mean, it was a successful, for me, a successful year. Uh, for the first time in three years that we made it to the playoffs, not only did we make it to the playoffs, we made it pretty far into the third round. So I'm happy overall about uh, the way we played, even though it was kind of disappointing against the uh, Blue Jackets there. All right, so we're going to see uh, who retired this year. So it looks like Spezza decided to retire. Same thing for Eric Stahl. Which Eric Stahl was with us, I believe, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure uh, which team that is. The Comets. Uh, he might have been with us. I'm not too sure, boys. But um, Eric Stahl and Spezza retired. Stashny, all these guys. Uh, Parise, uh, Carter, Lucic. A bunch of big-time veterans retiring and all that stuff. Defense-wise, Keith Yandel retiring. So there we go. He got his cup. He got a Stanley Cup. He decided to retire afterwards. Uh, good for him. Good for him. 
Johnson, there we go. Strawman, Johnson, another Johnson. So uh, all of them uh, retiring. The two Stahl brothers actually retiring together. Mark Stahl and Eric Stahl. And we've got the goaltender situation. Anderson, Elliot. So uh, Elliot is gone. And we've got uh, Hutton. Okay, so for our side... So we lost Ocposo and we lost uh, Soderberg. So these are the two skaters that we've lost in the minors. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to keep them a little bit further. Especially Ocposo. I was expecting him to play a little bit more often. Uh, but I guess not, boys. Goalies. Well, uh, Brian Elliott, of course. We lost uh, Brian Elliott into the retirement so uh, Spezza, Stashny, and Parise became coaches. Interesting. And we got Akposo becoming a scout, boys. All right, then. Uh, let's continue simming. Yes, everything's good. All right. So we're going to take a look at my scouting uh, coaching staff. Anybody retired? No, everybody's good. Everybody's in here. So since I've got everybody, I'm good to go. We uh, are good to go in terms of the draft lottery. Let's just go straight in, boys. We're going to do the draft lottery today. Uh, the Arizona Coyotes getting the first round pick. Uh, Pittsburgh is going to get the replacement for Crosby and Malkin, I guess. Because they're, they've got the second uh, round pick. So let's see where we land in all of this. Where um, did we uh, did we get... Where's our pick? Okay, so we've got, we are 30th overall. I could move up with Oshi, which I'm going to try and do. It worked. So we moved up by five picks right there. Let's try and keep moving up a little bit, boys. I've got some prospects here and there that I can trade. Uh, not too many, though. So it's just a bunch of uh, of different prospects I could possibly trade. We've got, like, for example, this uh, top nine guy with this uh, seventh D-man. Let's try and decide. There we go. Trade them away. Now we're, we have the 20th pick. Uh, let's try and go for the 15th, uh, 15 pick, boys. Maybe top 15. We can go all the way there. We could get lucky. I feel like uh, this is a possibility. Even these two goaltenders, I'm not too sure if I really want them. So the starter and fringe starter, let's see if that's going to work out. Not exactly. That's not quite good enough. Maybe if I can give them another 7th D, man. Uh, Apostopoulos. Not quite enough. Okay. Maybe then I'll have to give them a low top four. I don't know if I want to give them the, uh, the low top four. So kind of want to keep those boys to be honest. I don't know. It's kind of a risky maneuver here. Maybe I can Bulleris maybe uh, put Bulleris in there as well. Oh, there we go. So Bulleris worked out. So I gave them a lot of prospects from that. Now we've got the top 15 uh, pick from 30. We are in about 15 pick boys. I don't know if we're going to be able to go by, uh, up by uh, all the way to the 10th, the top 10. I doubt, though. I doubt. So, I mean, I could trade away at this point uh, Kavanov or something like that. I could do that. I could try and do that. But, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm going to have to give up a little bit more. I don't know if I really want to do that. Let me try this. Oh, hold on. First round pick was chosen. Roden, medium, uh, medium franchise playmaker. In the, uh, the, as the right winger. Alright, good for the uh, Arizona Coyotes. I guess they got their hands on a stud over there. Alright, let me try again to get the top 10 uh, pick. Okay, so Kavanov and the two, uh, two other uh, prospects that I'm not going to use. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to go through. And I don't have anybody. Maybe I've got a skater. I can always take a look and see if I've got any skaters that... Have a one-year deal left that I am not going to re-sign yet, right? So maybe I've got plenty of them right here. I've got Malkin. His contract is due. He doesn't have any value, though. But I kind of want to keep him, uh, keep Malkin, to be honest. Uh, Jack Quinn. Otherwise, yeah, it's a bunch of guys that I kind of want to keep. So nothing crazy, really. No nothing at all. I mean, I do have Petorka. Uh, Peterka is a right winger and he's the two way forward, which I don't think I really want in my team. Could try and get rid of him, boys. Could try and get rid of a Peterka, to, uh, for example, and uh, advance by ten, five picks. And it, they accepted. All right, so no more trades from there. From there on, no more trades. We're going to get that 10th pick, boys. We're going to keep it for ourselves. 
Uh, pretty good pick overall. I'm happy about that. Lone Strum right here. So medium elite. Another medium elite. Let's see how far uh, it goes. Is it a deep draft? Oh, there's already a top six right here. Oh, a couple of the top sixes here. A top four. And for Montreal, another top four. Okay, so there might be, it might not be that deep of a draft. We'll see how it goes. Is there any gems? There is. Uh, but these are top sixes mostly. There is an elite right there. Center and center. Okay, so these guys I can keep, I can get them uh, later on. This guy might be good though. This guy may, might be a good one. The small end guy as well. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Jay Subin. Looks like he produces a lot. He's a center. One year. Oh, yeah. This guy's ready. This guy is an NHL ready guy. But is there anybody that I could potentially see could be good for me? I mean, I'm, a, I'm in the top 10 right now. And uh, Ruslan Joss. I don't know anything about him. Hedler either. Bukali, I don't really know anything. Rob Blake, two years. I'm going to go on a... Uh, on a on a uh, on a wild move right here. I'm actually gonna pick this guy up, Korpikovsky. I got a feeling. No, uh, Subban. I want to keep uh, get Subban, boys. I got a feeling he's gonna be a really good player. Let's hope he is. Let's go on a wild move right here. Let's take a wild move and let's pick him up. So Subban is medium top six. All that for the tenth tenth pick. Okay. Well, he's a medium top uh, top six sniper center. So pretty good. I mean, he's a good player, but uh, I don't know if he is going to be that good for us. We'll have to wait and see. His puck skills are not that high up. We'll have to wait and see. Did I miss out on anybody? Just was a top four. Uh, kind of in the same league, actually. So not nothing crazy. The Blackhawks, are they going to pick uh, anybody that I messed up on? No, actually not. Pretty much the same. Actually worse, so Vertol was worse than what I would have, I actually picked up. And okay, Karpatsev, not crazy about him, Fukali either. Okay, I did not make any mistakes from the ones I was seeing on the list. So I think I made the right decision right here. I definitely made the, made the right decision. We're all the way at third, pick 62, boys. So here comes the real part where... That was a risky maneuver because I could have picked the elite guy instead. Uh, we weren't sure it was going to be an elite, but it told us so. So I'm not sure. Now we've got this Mullen guy, but he's 20 years of age. That's the problem. He's 20 years of age, but he is a gem. And same thing for this guy. He's a gem as well. I want to pick the gems, boys. We're going to pick uh, this Primo guy. Grand Primo uh, set up to be a gem, and he's coming up pretty soon. So we'll, uh, we'll pick him up. So Primo is a low top six, two way forward. Okay, not crazy about him. Uh, it's not the best, not the worst either. Still pretty good pick. No elites though so far, boys. Uh, Webster. Okay, we got to pick this Mullen guy. This Mullen guy seems like a, a good op option. It, they, they're saying he's a gem. I'm trusting in my, uh, I trust my scouts. We also have this guy. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to pick uh, this Mullen guy. Even though he's 20 years of age. Let's see if he's going to be any good. Ah, there it is. Center Enforcer. Medium Elite though. So Medium Elite, 58 overall. The best pick of the draft so far. But he's an Enforcer. That's an interesting one. Did not think I was going to get any Enforcer anytime soon. I don't know how we're going to play this guy. An Enforcer. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, boys. Yeah, definitely an interesting one. He is 20 years of age as well. Uh, 58 overall. It's going to be hard to grow that type of guy. We'll see, though, if we can do anything with him. This guy is five years before getting ready. Four years. Yeah, I don't know at this point. I don't know who I should go for, boys. We are coming to this part where... Actually, we got a guaranteed elite... I should probably pick this guy up. I'm going to pick this guy up. He's guaranteed low elite. So I'm going to pick him up. Just because I want to make sure that I at least get those. So low elite. Right wing power forward. There's another good third round pick. Perfect right there boys. Now he's 49 uh, overall. 
but uh, it's still pretty good. I mean, we've got the, uh, it's an elite player, so I'm still pretty confident about that. It was a good pick in my mind. We also have this Petrov guy, which is pretty close to be a low elite. He could very well be, so uh, I'm going to actually pick him up, boys. There we go. Petrov from Russia. Let's see. Low top six. Not too shabby. So that that's pretty good. We, that's a good trade bait. We got this medium top four, uh, top six right here. Not scouted uh, well ahead. He doesn't have any points in 20 game, 29 games played. I'm not, uh, I'm not crazy about him. Yeah, I don't think uh, we're gonna find anybody here, boys. We could take a chance on this Draper guy. There's a goaltender, so maybe take a chance on him. Medium backup goaltender, so absolutely garbage. Forget about that. Okay. Uh, Pendolfo or uh, Ikela. Yeah, I don't have any options here. We're pretty much out of options at this point. I'm not sure who to go for. We could try. We're going to try this guy out. I guess this Baines guy. 25. I am not crazy about it. This guy, I don't think he's going to be any good. This guy played in an A-plus league. Let's get Pendolfo instead. I'm going to get Pendolfo. All right, bottom six player. Not crazy. Not good at all, boys. Let's be uh, just go all the way to the last pick, I guess. So that was the boars pick of this year. Was the top six one, uh, bottom six one. We either have Coronan, uh, Yar, or Vituelema. Vituelema being uh, 19 years of age. All they're all 19 years of age. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just go for the goaltender. You never know what you can get from them. Medium backup once again in his 60 overall. So. Nothing really. So we fell down towards the end. But at the beginning, we really had some strong one. We had a medium elite enforcer and a low elite power forward. That's the most important part. Our first overall pick was kind of a, a, a miss because it ended up being a low top six or something or medium top six. Still really good, but uh, could have been a lot better. I'm just going to go ahead and resign my scouts really quick. So hold on. All right, so all the scouts should have been re-signed right there. I've offered uh, all of them a contract. I have five scouts that are about to become restricted free agents, including Darlene. Okay, so we're going into the contract negotiations, boys, now. And uh, the thing is, is we got to look first at our centers. So we got a lot of big-time contracts that, are, uh, that have ended. We still got Malkin. We got to sign Malkin if we want to. He's uh, 86 overall. Uh, so that's the main problem. Is I don't know. He's probably going to drop below the 85s. He's a really good player. Consistent player. Uh, across the board. But the thing is. Is he going to be any good for us now that he's going to be dropping? Still got that po those puck skills though. I'm going to keep Malkin boys. Because he's got those, po those puck skills. He's a really good player. I'm going to keep him. Uh, I think he's a very valuable player. We want, definitely want to keep a guy like him on the team. So let's keep him. Uh, we, he wants a one-year deal. We'll give him the three-year deal so he gets at least at 40 years of age. Uh, for 7.75, okay? So you're going to get that contract, buddy. For middle stat, though, do we want to keep him or not? I don't know. He had a really good season. He had a pretty decent season. And uh, his buck skills are at five stars as well. 84, he continues to grow as well. So he could be a very good player, potentially. I don't know if we can... The thing is, is I don't know if we can possibly get our hands on uh, another big-time center, possibly, right? In the free agency. Maybe there would be another option. So I don't know. We're going to have to... We would have to wait for that. Middle stat, I'm not convinced. At 25 years of age, I'm not convinced if he's going to grow that much uh, further. But I am going to re-sign him. I'll re-sign the guy, boys, because I feel like he could be a very valuable player uh, for us, for sure. So I'll give him the eight-year eight deal. Make sure that he's at all the way at 33 years of age. And we're going to give him a 6.325 uh, deal right there. So make sure uh, he comes back with us for real. So we got our four centers and we got three centers for the miners. Do not want to sign Subban. Anyone that's a prospect for me, I'm not signing them on unless I am forced to sign them. 
So uh, for Ninima, for example, the, the next year I'm going to be forced to sign him. But uh, Mullen, like uh, everybody else, like Subban, I've got plenty of years. I'm waiting until they're really 80, year, 80 overall or more. Like they're actually ready for the NHL itself before signing them. So we're going to just go and search for a center for the minors. Next up in the left wing position, we've got Keller, 88 overall. He's going to keep growing, boys. Only going to keep growing. He had a really good season last year. And um, we've got Johnson and Skinner already signed. It's a, just a matter of do we sign, uh, do, do we sign right now uh, Krebs or not? That's just a matter of, of figure that, uh, figuring that one out. Uh, Krebs... Is a four star and not a five star of Park Skills. I am not too convinced. He's a high top six though. He could grow pretty, pretty fast, but we could possibly find a better player in the left wing position than him. So I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna release him, and we're gonna try and sign and see if we can find a better player, boys, than P than Peyton Krebs. So we're definitely going to need a left winger for the mi uh, for the main league. And for the minors, we got uh, four players already signed up. So we're good on that part. And we also have Abert, which next year we're going to have to re uh, sign him up. We got lots of power forwards and enforcers, big time dudes that are coming up. We're going old time hockey, I guess. Old time hockey right here. In right wing position, uh, Pasternak, Olofsson. And Tuck are already signed up. We're waiting for Jack Quinn, which he actually dropped by two overalls. He was an 84. He's now an 82. He's actually dropping, boys. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. And you know what? Since he's, uh, he's actually dropping, I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to get rid of him and see if I can get something better, obviously, than, uh, than him. Unfortunately, I got to get rid of him, boys. And that leaves us with four, pl uh, three players in the minors, actually, uh, as of right now, are playing. And uh, for them, I guess we are going to need a right winger in the minors, but we're also going to need a depth forward. For the defense, finally, we've got Darlene. We need to re-sign Darlene. He does not want an extension, though. That is not a good sign. Uh, power is growing. He's now in the higher tier in the 85s. Good. Finally going to be up, uh, be able to play outside of the third pair. Uh, we've got Yoki Harju. Uh, Parn stayed as an 83, but he's probably going to uh, grow during the off, off season because he's pl he played a really good season, in my opinion. So we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, four defensemen with Dar Dur Durmat. It's at uh, it's at uh, that's the seventh. So uh, that would be with Appleby, which I definitely want to sign. That would be uh, putting us at f uh, five defensemen. And I don't have anybody else in the minors, right? That uh, would be ready to grow. Lazarev. I, I don't think he would be an 80, uh, 80 overall just yet. I don't think he's uh, there just yet. So we might be good enough. I am not going to re-sign Yoki Harju because we're going to be full on roster. If I re-sign Darlene, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six with Apple Buy. So yeah, I wanna, I would definitely want to get Apple Buy. Apple Buy is going to be a good defenseman for us, and uh, I guess we're going to get Darlene now. Yes, we're going to try and re-sign Darlene for sure, boys. We need to get him back. Eight-year deal would put him at. 32 years of age, so that's fine by me. Let's make sure he doesn't want to resign with us. Let's just give him a little bit more, two million more uh, money. So 3.4 instead of 11.4. Uh, we're gonna make sure he signs with us. And Apple Buy, we are gonna sign you, buddy. You are a time, big time prospects. Uh, prospect last year in the juniors, more points than gains. So definitely the type of player I want in my team, boys. Uh, three-year deal? Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? Let's give you the three-year deal, buddy. And there we go. So, for the minors, we got all six of our players already for the minors. Yakola is, unfortunately, is a low top four. We have to sign him for the first time. We ha we never signed him before. We let him grow, but now we don't have any places for him. We don't have any place for him. He, his puck skills are pretty bad. It's 61 overall. 
good luck, uh, better luck in another team, my guy, because I don't have any options for you. I don't have any space for you, unfortunately. So we're good for the defensive bar, I guess. Goaltenders, still got Campbell for at least another year. And we've got Lukonen, uh in there for a long time, a really long time. He's set up for eight years, right? A oh, six-year deal. Set up for another six years. Uh, Campbell, and not, I don't think this is, might be his last season with us for sure because uh, Lukonen probably is going to grow into an 83 now. 82 or an 83, I'm not too sure. He's probably going to become a starter eventually. But I, I'm looking for eventually replacing Campbell for sure with a, a much better goaltender if we can, that is. Uh, but for now, we need another. Once again, we need an, a, a goaltender that is good enough to play in the minors. So we're going to go look. All right, so as we re-sign everybody, boys. Uh, there we go. Darlene decided to accept. He, he decided to act, actually accept the contract because you can't refuse that type of money, obviously. So we are pretty much going to have a very similar team. All the players are pretty much going to be the same for the most part. Yes, there is going to be maybe two more players, three, two or three players that are going to be added to the team, especially a left winger and a right winger we're looking for. Uh, but uh, these are just minor elements. For the main part, our main uh, guys are still going to be there playing for us. Uh, if we want to get just quick, uh, quickly get a look at uh, what we're going to get as an option. Uh, pretty good options. Left winger, you can already see what we're going to go for. Uh, against Zolt for sure. So, yeah, I feel like this. Uh, we got some really good options right here, all, right off the bat, boys. Now, centers, there is some good options, but we're only looking for... Obviously, we're going to go for a depth for forward as well, but center-wise, it's only in the minors. So we want to pick, pick somebody that's going to be good for us. And some uh, body that is not currently growing either. Which I think the perfect uh, player for that would be Johansson. Marcus Johansson. He's got three and a half star of, uh, of puck skills. And it's a 79 overall, boys. So uh, And a playmaker. So uh, we're going to pick him up, boys, for sure. We'll give him the, the whole seven-year deal. So it picks, uh, puts him up at... Uh, for 43 years of age uh, at 40 years of age boys so he's, he's gonna play his entire career rest of his career with us pretty much uh for the uh, left wing position we already know we want to go for it's obviously gonna be Genzel. Uh, we could always go for Beauvilliers and Marchasso as well but they're all three of them are good options but Genzel is an elite player let's just see what we've got the most puck skills we're obviously going to give him a, not a seven-year deal, not a six-year deal, a five-year deal. We're going to give him a four-year deal only. And uh, since we want to make sure he does sign with us, normally I would give him $10 million, uh, Make sure to Just to make sure he does sign with us, 12.75, uh, 12 boys. 11.75, 12, making sure that he does sign with us. Uh, right wing position, we're going to need a right winger for the uh, the main league. Timo Meyer and along all these players are uh, good options. Let me see real quick. I do not want to pick veterans. Like if they're higher, than, if they're 33 or more uh, years of age or more, I'm not picking them up because it's a risky maneuver. They can drop at any time. I want uh, like Timo Meyer, for example, would be a good one. Uh, two or four though. I would have went for Max Zuccarello, boys, because he's the only one that has a five-star puck skills. But the problem is, once again, he's 36 year, uh, years of age. He's going to drop for sure, and I can't have that. So I got to pick somebody else instead. And uh, we've got Timo Meyer, of course, which is the next best thing that we could possibly pick. So that's the guy we're going to go for. Actually, Timo Meyer is not that good. It's, it's, the problem is he's a two-way forward. I'm scared. I'm scared of two-way forwards, boys. So I'm not... Yeah, I'm not going for two-way forwards. You know, I'm going to go for somebody like uh, LeBan. LeBan could be good. I feel like nobody's going for the power forwards nowadays. Uh, there might be a reason for that. I think the power forwards are risky maneuver, boys. I'm not going to go for him. I think I'm, I'm just going to go for Mata. I think Mata would be the best option right here. 
Like, uh, I'm intrigued by Zuccarello, but the problem is he's 36 years of age, so it's too much of a high risk. So we're going to go for um, for Anthony Manta, and he's gonna, we're going to give him a three-year deal as well for 8.5, right? Three-year deal at 8, uh, 8.55. You better accept that, buddy. Uh, next up, we've got also we needed a right wing for the minors. So let's take a look. Do we can we find the best player available? We've got a good veteran right here, boys. That would be perfect. Power forward. I mean, it's Corey Perry. Pretty good player overall. I feel like uh it's gonna be a good veteran for our team. Let's pick him up. Good veteran. Uh one year deal, sure, why not? Exact one year deal right there. Make sure he signs with us. And for the depth, uh we need a depth forward now. So anybody that's in the eighties. We uh, we uh, we want to pick boys, 80s and he's not growing. So, bunch of top nines. We got a top six right here. Anybody that would be very interesting, like uh, Storm, for example, Nico Storm. No, well, a playmaker would be a good one, uh, I feel like. But a power forward even more. And Nico Storm is a three and a half star, so a Barry Boulet would be a better option. We also have Wenberg. Which is a three star, so absolutely not. And Cahoon is a three star as well. Yeah, I think we might end up going with the other player I just mentioned. I, unless there's really something like Trevor Moore, maybe. He's decent, but not as good. Yeah, I think the only player we should go for right here, boys, is Barry Boulet. We're going to go for Barry Boulet. This seems to be the best option right here. And we're going to give him a six-year deal. I would uh, put him at 33 years of age for eight point one point eight twenty five. All right. So you're going to be our depth forward. And the last one, the last thing we need is a goaltender. So we need goaltenders. Uh, just one for the minors. So let's see if we can find ourselves a good goaltender for the minors right here. We got Code Open, uh, Corenner. Some really good uh, prospect goaltenders that we could possibly get. The best option seems to be a Kudobin, even though he didn't have a good season last year. Maybe he just got unlucky with the Vegas Golden Knights for some reason. We'll sign him, we'll sign Kudobin, and he's going to be a, uh, one of our backup goaltenders for the minors. Sign him for a two-year deal. Yeah, why not? Two-year deal and the maximum amount of money that we can give him. So that's uh, pretty much that, boys. Let's just... Wait a couple of days, see if uh, they're all going to accept. Hopefully, they all accept. There we go. We got Corey Perry for the minors, uh, Johansson. We've got Barry Boulet as our depth forward. Kudobin, there we go, as our uh, minor goaltender. Next up, the biggest ones. There we go, Jake Genzel. So, we got Genzel as our left winger and uh, Mata as our right winger. All right. So, everybody's in there, boys. We got everyone that we needed. And we're ready to head back into the fourth season. Hopefully, it's going to be an even better season than last one. Last one was pretty good. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys for the next video. Keep it easy.